Hello everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I am going to show you how easy it is to use CV the CVI service from Cisco to join with a video endpoint to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. Again, using CVI, this is the service that lives in between to do that adaptation from standards-based SIP to proprietary Microsoft signaling. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's dive in and check it out. All right, so first things first, you have to get into Outlook and schedule this. In this case, I am using the web client, so it's pretty straightforward to do. Simply do new event. You wanna give it a title. We'll just call it Teams Meeting. Invite attendees, set up the time, do all that type of thing. You can invite locations, uh, i.e. room systems this way. You definitely uh, wanna add a Teams Meeting to this, and we'll actually jump it back in and take a look at the invite in just a second. Uh, complete the invite send it out and we're ready to go. All right, so here is the meeting invite. I wanna point out a few things. One, the typical Microsoft Teams join experience uh, on a desktop or Mac or PC or whatever can be through this link, the, the typical way if you have the Teams client on your endpoint. From a CVI perspective, cumulusorg at m.webex.com is what you would dial. You'll land at an IVR and then you can type in the meeting ID, uh, and this is if you're doing it manually. Again, perfectly fine way to do it. It's more you know, sophisticated. You need to be a little bit more trained up as an end user to do it this way. Certainly can be done. Now, in my org, I have one button to push enabled, and you'll see that, that it's extremely straightforward to just tap the one button and join. Uh, but uh, but that is that is how you do that. If you don't have one button to push enabled, you use that information. Now we can open up these alternate VTC dialing instructions for some help as well uh, in case we need it. Let's check them out real quick. So here they are. You can see join the meeting directly. You can simply just put the meeting ID uh, dot org name at m.webex.com and dial straight away that way. And then there's some details here as well just for your reference. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up Teams on my computer and we'll take a look at the experience in the client and then from the endpoint and then back to the client once the endpoint has joined. Okay, so joining the meeting, very simple. Just tap the Join Teams button from your calendar. You'll see the meeting window open up. In this case, I'm ready to join uh, as the participant. I'm going to go ahead and mute and join now. All right, so I am in the meeting. I'm gonna open up the participants tab along the side here. You see uh, the tech catalyst, me, this computer is the organizer. Then I wanna see uh, as that changes when the video endpoint itself dials into the meeting. Let's keep an eye on that right now. Here I have the one button to push. We'll go ahead and tap that. And now we are at the Teams meeting uh, waiting screen. We see, uh, again, I'm the organizer. Here is Adam Schaefer as the guest. I can simply decline or accept this participant into the meeting. We're of course going to accept. It'll take a moment for the participant to come into the meeting. And there you go. You now see my desk pro inside of my Teams meeting uh, coming through a uh, SIP to the CVI service inside the WebEx cloud or inside of the Microsoft cloud really, and then being delivered into this Microsoft meeting. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully that's been a helpful introduction to the join experience from video endpoints into the Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams meeting. There's a lot more to get into there, so that's an introduction. We're gonna have some other videos coming in the not too distant future. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, specific things you want me to get into with this, leave them in the comments section below. I'm looking forward to experimenting with this a bit more. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and uh, stick around. We'll have more coming in the near future.